Oh. G'day, I'm Kurt from the Game Management Authority and in this video we're going to talk about the effective distances for duck hunting. So Daryl, we've always advocated that hunters don't shoot birds past 30 metres. Why is that best practice? Well, the international research and the shotgun education program here in Australia uh, has proven that most hunters' ability doesn't extend past that 30 metre mark. Um, we've tested a lot of people in the shotgun education program around Australia and generally most hunters sort of get to that 30 metre mark and their ability doesn't extend past there. So most of them sort of are comfortable into that 30 metre sort of region. Yep, and that's got two aspects to it, doesn't it? Because if they're shooting within their range, they're going to have a much more successful hunt. And the other aspect is that we're going to have a lot less wounding. Yeah, sure. So it's a win-win situation, really. Um, hunters are more successful, they bag more birds, and we get a lot less wounding as a result of that. So yeah. it's, it, it is it's win-win. Yeah, it's really, it's a better result. So Daryl, 30 metres is a practical measurement. How do we judge that in the field? So for us, what we do and what we've found works really well is when we set out decoys, we put the last decoy out at that 30 metre mark. And we know that once the birds come in and they cross that mark, they're within that 30 metre range. Yeah, so that's a great idea because you've got something you can see whenever something comes in. Yeah, it works really well, and especially with younger shooters and new shooters who haven't got that experience of judging the distance. It really helps them to have that marker. Another good one is if you're on a, a farm dam or you've got a marker in that dam or the other side of the dam bank, so you know sort of where that 30 metre mark is. And another great reference for anyone that spends a lot of time on the road like I do is you know, a B-double semi-trailer. A B-double semi-trailer is 30 metres, and that's the kind of range we're talking about. Shooting a duck. Absolutely, and then it's a matter of just practicing that and That's learning right. what that distance really is in different situations. Sure, and all these things practice makes perfect. So the more you can practice, the better you're going to. Now we see a lot of sky busting, which is guys taking shots well and truly outside their effective range. Um, what's the issue with that? Well, the first issue is generally they're they're shooting well outside their their ability, their known ability. Um, that's going to cause a lot more wounding. Yep. Um, it's going to make retrieval harder if they do actually connect with the bird. Um, we've seen the birds sort of sail away into the distance and unless they've got a boat or a really well trained dog, the chance of retrieving that bird is very slim. Um, they're also you know, pushing the birds off the wetlands and, and ruining opportunities for other hunters. Absolutely. So what should they be doing instead as better practice? Well, a much better option is using decoys and callers and bringing those birds in closer. You know, concealment, movement's a key factor. Um, staying still and letting those birds sort of work into the decoys or just waiting for a better opportunity. Absolutely, so they're going to have a more effective day, they're going to have less wounding, they're going to have more birds for them. Yeah. And they're going to do that in a way that is more enjoyable for everyone. Yeah, certainly, that would be the outcome. Yeah. So it's more a matter of changing their practices as a hunter and bringing the bird in closer, rather than having these shots at longer distances. Yeah, it's just small behavioural changes that make for a much more successful hunt. Oh. Thanks for watching, and for the best results, get the birds to come to you, and make sure you keep your shots within 30 metres. And we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Whoa!